Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Mountain Warcraft Reborn. There's going to be a few things that we need, but I'll quickly show you. First, we're going to need the mod here. You can manually download it here. This mod is for 1.0.3. The mod is a large file, so it will take some time to download. And for this mod as well, you do need Harmony. So you can download Harmony manually by clicking on this and downloading as well, or visiting your Steam Workshop here and typing in Harmony and downloading this. So while that's downloading, what we, what we need to do is make sure the game version is 1.0.3. So we're click on your Steam game properties, betas, and select 1.0.3. That will download. Now once that's done, I recommend always doing verify integrity of game files just to make sure everything is installed correctly. So now we have the game, the mods, the mod requirement, verified game files. Now let's get into unzipping some folders. So what we're going to want to do here is you have your zip folder. So for me, I have 7-zip, but you can also use WinRAR and other extraction programs. So for me, I go to properties. If this is your first time downloading a zip, you're going to see a thing called unblock. Click on unblock, click apply, and click OK. So what that does, it unblocks all the DIL files. If you don't do that, you'd manually have to go into the files and unblock the files yourself. So for an example, you can go into bin, shipping client, and really a map fix properties and click on block and apply. Doing it the original way, just unblocking the folder before you extract eliminates that problem. Okay, so since now we have the mod folder here, as you can see, this is Mountain Warcraft V6, modules, and the mods. There's two ways to install in this, but we'll do, we'll show both. So we have modules here. So what we want to do is go to properties again to find our mod folder, go to local files, and browse. As you can see, we have modules here and modules here. There's two ways of doing this. So you can drag the contents inside the modules folder here into modules or you can drag modules into the overall folder and overwrite the modules i recommend going into the modules folder and dragging the contents into the game modules version it please note it will overwrite your game version files your native and stuff so when you are trying to play with other mods you may need to reinstall so now we have the mods installed. Now let's launch the game and find out what order the mods should be in. So as we boot the game here, let me drag the window over. Once it loads, we should go to single player, go to mods. At the very top here, we're going to have harmony. That's above all your native files. Make sure you do have birth and death options enabled and above any other option. Next. You want to have your Mountain Warcraft, MWR races, trade bound fix in this order, all below birth and death options and the rest of the native files with Harmony once again at the very top. Now let's load the game. Let's move this into your viewing if it decides to load. But while we wait for that to load, every time you load the game, it will take a couple of minutes to load due to the custom race system and how Tail Worlds implements it. It will take a bit to load each time. Depending on your system performance, it could be one to two minutes, three to five minutes. Once again, it, every time you do launch this game, it will take some time to load. So I'll just gonna jump cut when it does load for me. Now we are on the main screen and let's make sure we start a new game under sandbox and not new campaign. If you select new campaign, it will crash consistently and constantly. So only select sandbox to start your game. That's just how the devs have it. So do what the devs say, select sandbox. So now while this loads, let's quickly get through character creation and show the last requirement before you can start your campaign. If it decides to load.
So we're quickly going to go through. Once again, as you can see, it does work. The mod. So the last thing we're going to do is make sure to disable enable and birth and death options. Make sure you enable this and make sure you disable battle death for all heroes. The reason being is once your character reaches X age in game, it will crash. So other than that, make sure those are disabled and you can continue on with your game and you will load. Other than that, if you have any problems, stay tuned. Stay tuned for a revision or join my Discord or ask one of the mods in my Discord. I think Vanguard Master is one of the devs, I believe. I'll message him. Once again, stay tuned and enjoy. And I'll catch you later on the flip side.